From the time I was a little girl to where I am now, I was always told about the wild horses, the childhood stories of courage and power. That's what the horses were to me. The beautiful view of horses running past, the breeze catching their calls. Jorvik had multiple herds. Most citizens respected them and cherished them. Though when I was little, I guess everything was simple. Everything changes when you grow up. The legend of the Arabian herd was a pretty big mystery to the Jorvik population. It's not common to see breeds like this roaming the lands, though their origin still remains in the shadows. The stallion, the leader, the tail is as old as time, an elegant and chivalrous horse that led the herd and protected them against every danger. <laughs> that the stallion favors the most may not be stronger, but she surely is the leader of them all. Her elegance is passed down to the others through generations. No matter how small the herd, there will always be conflict. Contradictory powers, something trying to take the lead. No matter the work and problems involved, all is well in the end. Are you sure we should do this? These horses used to be owned. What if they're still able to be domesticated? We don't know where they came from. They've been here even before we were born. Stick to the plan. We corral them, get them loaded up, and we'll tag them for sales or slaughter. You know how it works. Someone take the flank and sides. I will lead. We need to get the lead stallion under control so the others follow. Shoulders back, don't make me tell you again. And 
Please, straighten those legs before you fall out of the saddle. Good girl! You're definitely improving. You're doing good, but you really need to work on your legs and back. It's what makes a big difference. Do you think she'll be ready for you home later? I have a friend who'd be the perfect fit. It's not up to me, it's up to Mr. Ed, but I do think she is making progress. What's that noise? Always my curious Samantha. Go look, and I'll bring this gal into the barn. We'll release the last three into the pasture. Keep an eye on them, they'll be heated. Hey Red, what's this? Do you need any help? Oh, hey, you're the new stable girl, right? I've actually been here for two- you I don't need any help. We're just tagging and marking some cold wild horses. These two are going to be worked on. Hopefully, they'll be the new South Hoof Rescue's new poster ponies. Sounds like fun. Do you want any tips? I used to help with the wilds that we used to pull from auctions. I know a girl from Kingsman who can take them if needed. Actually, that would be nice. Thanks for offering. Really? When can I start? Do you want me to help with the black? He looks like he's a true wild animal. No, not really. I said I got it. Stay out of it. Do what you were hired to do. Oh, okay. Sorry, I will do that. If you need me, I'm one phone call away. Thanks. Okay, girls, let's load up the rest for transport. Their new location isn't far. Wild, a term describing natural and uncultivated property untouched by the species of human, and sometimes it's meant to stay that way. These horses weren't meant to be in this pen. They were meant to be leading a herd and making their mark on the land, though sometimes it's the safest option due to the circumstances of farmers wanting horses off their land. Thank you.
how's it going? How do you think it's going? Almost three days and no progress. It's like they're trying to ruin my patients. Maybe if they had areas to graze and rest? The dirt arena probably is not the best. They're used to green fields. I wonder what it'd be like to run through the breeze in the sun. It must be a may- Okay, we get it. You have an imagination. If I can't get these three figured out, I'll have to send them to slaughter. It's as simple as that. If I release them into the fields again, they could be shot by farmers. Slaughter? Red? That's not right at all. Why take them from a dangerous situation, then toss them to an endless road of abuse like that? You don't know who they will end up with. Except it's not your decision. My girls and I called them. I get to decide. Actually, it's not yours either. You're employed under our jurisdiction, and these horses were called onto our land. Quit it, Mrs. Ellen. I'm just trying to do my best for these horses. Your best? Red, you were raised better than that. We're a rescue. Why would we stumble and fall when a horse doesn't turn around immediately? These horses grew up with little to no human contact. Ripped away from their home, they'll need time. I think it's best if Samantha gives that girl a call from Kingsman. Are you kidding me? I can't just give up now. But you can. We don't have the room to house three wild horses. Kingsman Estates does. They can get them trained up, new homes, and also give them a new life. I'm sure they'd let you see them too, if you're polite about it. Move it. You got this. Good girl. And now the other way? Beautiful. That's enough for today. Cuddles? Already? I guess we're best friends now, huh? Does that mean I have to forgive you for almost kicking my face yesterday? Roxy, your phone went off in the barn for quite a while. Oh. Thanks, it's just an old friend. Can you put Hook up while I listen to her voicemail? Sure. Come on, Hook. Let's go to the pasture. You've been doing good. Sounds like you're almost ready to go home. Hey, Roxanne. Sorry. Roxy. It's Sam, from high school. Long time to speak, right? I remember you telling me that you worked at Kingsman now. And, I hope you still do, or this conversation would be painfully one-sided. Listen, this is really important. We have three wild horses here at South of Rescue. Some of our workers culled in a smaller herd that was nearing farmland to keep them from being shot. But, three of them can't be properly transported due to their temperament. All I ask, or at this point, beg, is that you and the owner come down here and look. If you can, take them, give them a new life, give them what they deserve. I'm afraid that one of our workers here may send them to slaughter if this plan doesn't work out. I will give you more information when you arrive. Call me back as soon as possible. Christina! Hey, are you free for the next few hours? Not really. I have to work on two horses and then I have my midday lesson and then I have lunch with my- Perfect. I need you. I have an old friend who has three exotic wilds at her place that need rehoming. According to her, they're pretty crazy. It sounds exciting, right? Do you think they'll be aggressive? Roxy. I just told you I'm not free. Did you just say exotic? Welcome. I am Samantha of South Hope Rescue. These are the three. We have a mare and two stallions. The Palomino was the lead stallion. Red said that the black stallion was causing conflict. And you put them in the pen together? Don't you think that'll cause conflict? Well, we have no other place to put them. When we get rescues, they go through a process to make it into the barn or an appropriate foster home. I don't think any place can take them. And I heard Kingsman does Mustang makeovers. These aren't Mustangs. They look like they were bred and released or something. I'm guessing your mom never told you about the Arabic Arabians. No, my mom didn't read bedtime stories. Well, they are a mystery. 
Nobody knows where they came from, but nobody dares to touch that population. The only reason we're culling these guys is because they're smaller herd off the larger one, and they were nearing farmlands. So, they're wild horses. Can they be relocated? There's no room in Norvik. This is their last hope. We can give it a try. Roxy and I need to talk this over. Give us one second, Samantha. What is there to talk over? These three horses need us, Christina. But our schedules are so full. I feel like even our lunch breaks are filled with work. I can work with them. You said yourself that you wanted to pass down your skills. Show me how to do it and I will help. We'll give it a try. But if it doesn't work out, we're transporting them to someone on the mainland that can help out. So, should we get them loaded up? It's a long drive back for you two. Well, let's do it. Keep them calm. Yes! I'm so excited! Maybe Sam can come and help sometime? That would be wonderful! We need to name all three. Well, let's wait until we get back to the estates for that. Wild horses and trailers is not a good combination. So what should we do with them? They're in the pasture, but what else? The mare will stay separated, but the palomino is obviously bonded to her. He will stay beside her, and the black stallion will stay in the bigger outer pasture due to him being pretty antsy. We need some names. Any ideas? I think the white one should be named Barry. She's elegant. She looks social. The palomino should be Simba. He was separated from his pride, and he is sticking to his true love. Isn't that romantic? The black should be conquest. He'll definitely become one when we can make progress on him. According to Samantha, the girl who's working with him wasn't doing much but make- You mean Red? Yeah, we both went to school with her. She's a piece of work, but she is nice once you get to know her. Well, I have to finish up my barn work for the day. And you? You have some work ahead of you. I want a detailed work plan for each of these horses, as you did say you wanted to help. Seriously? Christina, let's think about this. Christina, wait! Hey, don't ignore me! Thank you.